What's up guys, this is Yaron7 and welcome to another Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle video on JP. And today I'm going to be taking on the Super 17 Dokken boss fights. Um, now this was a really tricky fight for me to wrap my head around, wrap my brain around more like. Um, took, I mean I beat it, you know, first try, funny enough, but the thing that didn't satisfy me was I didn't know how I beat it. Uh, now, there's a lot of different things that factor into this. Um, and I know I'm probably going to get some comments, people calling me an idiot at some point in this video for something I say, so I apologize ahead of time. Um, but you might even call me an idiot for bringing Mono AGL, but I feel like this is the best team for me at the moment. I, you know, there might be better teams out there, but for now, um, I'm just sticking to Mono AGL, mainly because um, the LR Androids play a huge role in this fight. They're a must have. Whether they're on the you know mono villain team or on a you know mono AGL, they are crucial because they could do over a whole bar of Super 17's health. Uh, and there's a huge uh, mechanic that that keeps them from getting damage, and they just ignore that mechanic and they just fuck them up because they have a special link or I think it's a link or no, it's it's got to be a passive or something. I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I mean, that's the only thing I'm really confused about. Um, because, I mean, it can't just be them that do, does damage. It has to be other Android units, like, you know, Android 17 or 18 individually. I haven't tried those out yet. Let me know in the comments if they do a shit ton of damage too. But I know for a fact LR Androids do a crap ton. Now, um, don't mind my support items. I'm really low on, you know, Ghost Dusters and King Yemis, so I don't have any more anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm completely out. So I have to wait till the next school tournament to stock up and you just bob a shop every now and then. So we're going to start the battle. I'm going to shut up now. Um, this is my team. I'll go through it more as we do the fights. Um, now this is, you know, I really, I think people really overhyped, you know, how hard this was going to be. Um, I mean, maybe I misconceived it. It's, it's not about being difficult to beat. It's about, it's just being difficult to understand. Because I've been trying to, like I said, I've been trying to wrap my brain around it for the last couple hours now. Even though I've been beating it. Uh, Consistently, but um, I'm not gonna take the key path only because Super Saiyan 3 Goku struggles to get his super attack, and I'm gonna need him. And you're gonna wonder why I have such a weird team, you know. I already explained the androids, they do, they have a special link or whatever, but um, here's the thing. Um, now I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna explain as we go the last fight, um, so you know what's going on when I get there. Um, Basically, Super 17 has a very special gimmick. Um, he has two different uh, phases. I mean, they're not phase switches like when you beat a certain boss going to the next phase. Uh, basically, he has a gauge, just like Tech Beerus, except um, you want to bring that gauge down because he puts up a barrier. The first, the first time you fight him, he has a barrier that um, that he can, um, I believe, it absorbs. Uh, I believe his barrier absorbs physical super attacks. So when he has that barrier up, you have to shoot him with keep with keep blast super attacks, like you know Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or like Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. There. Um, now, um, funny, believe it or not, um, Super Vegeta, his super attack is considered a physical based super, especially his counter attack. That's a normal attack. Everyone knows that. So he will be useful for the when it goes to the last, you know, when it goes to the, the part where he absorbs uh, key blast super attacks. So um, but he's still useful for you know. It's not like you're going to heal him if you attack his barrier with the key, with the physical. This is not going to do any damage. But um, if he it's basically when he has his first barrier up, that um, will that is going to if you attack. Attack his first barrier with a physical super attack like that. It will damage him, not a lot, but it won't bring the gauge down. But if you do it with a super key blast super attack, it's gonna bring it down a lot and do a lot of damage to him. So um basically once you bring the first barrier down, the the, the physical barrier down, then the, the, the fight will switch as, as as though you beat him and then he goes to like it'll go to his undoken form card art, I believe. And then um then you have to use physical based super attacks to um, he doesn't have a gauge then you just you know just it's pure health 
But I'm not sure. I've never done a Key Blast Super Attack on him. I th it might. I think it heals him if you do that. So you don't want to hit him with a Key with a Key Blast Super Attack when he, when he basically when he's holding his arms out like this um, when he's in that card art. Don't hit him with a Key Blast Super Attack. Like I'll deliberately not get Super Saiyan 4 if you do the Super. Now Raleigh is very helpful because she's obviously physical based, so um, she's helpful in both fights. She, she stuns. So anyway, now that I've explained that, we'll we'll talk to you a little bit more when I get there. We're gonna keep the Elder Androids on standby for now. Don't need them until the last until the last fight because the Elder Androids will do hella damage. But um, I don't want to break up a Raleigh for now because I want to use her to stun because she actually hits with stuns. You know it's rare. So, like I stunned him like three times in a row. So I want to have that chance to stun. Because he can kill me. If he supers me and attacks multiple times, I'm dead. So that's why I brought the Bob is actually. This fight's a pushover. Alright. I guess Super Saiyan 3 Goku is kind of useless unless I get a good key path. But I brought him just in case. Just in case. Oh my god, Super Vegito is like just, every time I put the camera on, like, he just goes nuts. I don't know what it is with Super Vegito lately. It's like whenever I record, he just goes apeshit. Like, here's the cutscene where they fuse, becomes Super 17. And they actually have the Fuse Fighter Link. Sorry to make a video about them, you know, explaining everything, but I'm not too hyped about them. Super 17, Super 17 is a unit. He's kind of a letdown, but I'll talk about that in another video. Um, so let's see here. Um, here, let's. Uh, we're gonna try to. No, I'll use a Baba. Why not? All right, I'm gonna save that key for LR Androids. I know I should link Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4, but I want to keep a rally out. I mean, I could have. I mean, I want to. I could have. I, mean, I could have put her first, I guess, and I kind of fucked up there or whatever. I'm, I'm not perfect. So that that brought the barrier down. So I didn't notice he was attacking a Raleigh and Vegeta the, the same amount of times. So I thought he was attacking Vegeta the most, so that's why. I, I kept Vegeta in the first slot, but that's all right. All right, we're gonna do a crap ton of damage here. Um, you know, let's put Vegeta last there. All right, you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a second. Why the LR androids fuck shit up. All right, here we go. This is gonna do a, over a whole bar right here. They have a special, so the special that went brown or red or whatever. That means they're gonna do a crap ton of damage. Yeah. So it's Vegeta. I got this down. Now what you could do to avoid? Oh, oh, he's gonna block it. Now what you could do to avoid um, him going to the next phase is just, you know, kind of don't bring his barrier down and just, um, and just like, just keep killing him with and with the Eller androids. That's what I did with my villain team. And surprisingly, I guess Rose, Mertz, and Masu and all of them don't count as a super, a key blast super. So I guess that confirms it. Now, I could be wrong about that, so you can grill me in the comments if you want, but, um, whatever. Now, I gotta keep, I gotta keep a Raleigh out still. She's gonna be relevant pretty soon. And I got plenty of Key Blast Super units anyway. I'm not, like, running out of them. I have one every round, so no big deal. Hopefully you get stunned. Nope. I could be in trouble here. I gotta stay at he full health at all times. Alright. Um. Oof, not good. Alright. 
I'm gonna try to maneuver this. Ooh, okay, good. If I play my cards right, I can get a full row of AGL key for the LR Androids, but if not, it's alright. Please, Apalma. I'm probably gonna not get this, but. Nah. I, I fucked up. It's alright, though. He's gonna switch barriers soon, anyway. Yeah, it's a little hard to get their super attack sometimes. If I had Super Vegito and Vegeta in the same turn, I could have sandwiched them. But, uh. It's alright. Not, not, not the end of the world. But they still did a shit ton of damage to me, and that's all that matters. He's almost dead. Alright, now he's changing barriers. Well, he's not going. He doesn't have a barrier up now. It's not really called a barrier, I guess. He's just in his um, super attack, you know, key blast absorption mode when he holds his arms up. So this is where Super Vegito shines. So does a. Uh... Oh fuck! Well, I fucked up there. That's all right. Yeah, you don't. Actually, you know, for the sake of science, I'm gonna attack him with Vegeta and see what happens. Just for the sake of it. We'll see what happens. That is, if Vegito doesn't kill him first. Ah, fuck it, it doesn't matter. He's dead. <laughs> I wanted to see what had happened, but I guess, you know, whatever. See, Vegito is physical based super attack, confirmed. Um, I mean, he does have key there. I mean, that's not a key blast, but, I mean, they don't. I'm just going off what people said in the Doken Reddit. I mean,. Like I don't, I mean, I guess they're they're 100 percent correct then. I mean, but everyone was speculating, you know. That not everyone. I'm just, I fall in the same things as everyone else. Like nobody, you know, they don't write a whole list of units that are physical based and key blast. You know, it doesn't even. Ha I mean, I think I'm just gonna shut up now. Super Vegito is a monster. And look, my LR androids weren't even level 150, and the level 7 super attack, and they did like a whole bar. So, um, yeah, you just definitely take them if you have them. So, even if they're level 1 super attack, they'll still do a lot. So, I mean, yeah, I guess <laughs> looking back on it, Vegito is definitely going into this, I should have known 100% because he doesn't shoot a key blast. So, but, whatever. You get All right, guys, well, that was uh, one of the most difficult uh, Doken boss fights to understand in the entire game for me. Uh, I really wish there was a guy. I, I really wish they would appeal to English speaking players and just freaking put like an English patch in this game. They've done it with other mobile games. Like, it'd be so much easier if I didn't have to rely on Doken Reddit to. Because like, they're probably going to upload a guide later today, but I'm, I'm impatient. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you found this video helpful and informational. Sorry if I got anything wrong. Um, I know for sure the Dragon Fist, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku had a place there. I just couldn't get a super attack. So I probably wouldn't take him in the future. Um, he's replaceable. So, um, you could beat this with the villains, the amount of villain team as well. Because uh, a lot of those guys, like Mertz and Masu, don't, they are physical based super attacks. Even though they do shoot a key blast at the end. Uh, I know for a fact, I, I did, like, Rose super attack. Uh, Mertz and Masu. I even did Buff Boo super and nothing did any damage to his uh, barrier so they're all physical based so you could you could do it just physical base you know basically one strategy you could do is just do that mono villain team like I did just do that over and over again you could tank him you know with the tech types like buff boo and Mursumasu and then just have the LR androids jump in and and fuck him up and then he won't even go to this his uh you know the arms out like this phase but but this is much easier though I find Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.